Chicago. Welcome to Eurovision. How are you? Uh, yes, please. Take a seat and take your microphone. Um, so you were the first ones to be announced as the artists participating in, in Eurovision of a very long list, but you were the last ones yeah. actually to announce your, your song. How was this waiting? Were you like patiently waiting to finally say what you were singing? Did you already know when you were chosen? How was the, the process? Yeah, first of all, thank you for being here. And it's been honor for us to be here and to be presented with you and share you some thoughts verbally. This is, I think, very important besides the music. Um, with regards to with the question, um, I think it was kind of something like preparing a special dish and uh, to use some tradition, traditional recipes, to use traditional ingredients, but as well to use those ingredients uh, accessible for the rest of the world. Because only traditional thing would be would, would, wouldn't work. So we had a very long journey about this. We had many discussions, and uh, finally chose the one you heard. And uh, yeah, it was the last one, but but I think I think that the feedback and the emotion coming from the um, listeners and the voters was really good, and very very much pleased about this. Right. Uh, you were t talking about a dish, and I was already imagining the delicious Georgian food. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> and actually, your song, it is like a, a, a Georgian delicacy, and, uh, and that's a very good uh, analogy. Um, so, the, the, the lyrics are in Georgian, and it's the first time that we're listening to a song that it's entirely sang in Georgian uh, at Eurovision. But the title is in English. How was this decision? Did you decide it immediately that you wanted to sing in your in your mother tongue, and then you chose the title? Was it the other way around? How did it work? Yeah, we were very much honored to have the uh, language in Georgian, and this is the first time. And yeah, we had so the first thing that comes up in my mind is the responsibility to to present your language beautifully, as beautiful as as, as we can, and we we will do our best to do this. And secondly, the uh, title of the song, I guess, yeah, for you is the word that everybody knows, not only English speakers and so on. This is, uh, I think, accessible to all of the rest of the world. So we decided that for you, this is a very simple two words could be a better title. Because you do have a title in yeah. Georgian. Oh. Actually, in Georgian, for you, is in Georgian, it translates like this, but to translate directly with the word, it's for your heart, or for your sake, for your heart's mm -hmm. sake, something like that. But simply, it's for you. And uh, the band area you're working for a very long time, you're seven, I've heard, like the, but obviously Eurovision has a six member limit on, on, on stage. How did you decide? Did you draw uh, dice to decide who would come to Lisbon? How did it work? Yeah, I, this is I think, a challenging uh, uh, question, um, but I think that the, um, uh, we are just a seven, now we're actually eight, we have one okay. additional, and it's not, not now, but it's uh, uh, in the final part of last year, where we had a new member, but the three decided that we could be on the stage with five. I think uh, they made this decision. Our our leader made this decision, so we, we just followed him. Okay. And this was a very yeah emotional a bit. Yeah, we we thought for a while about this, but then 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 we followed this. But they're of course back in Georgia supporting you and suffering with you yeah, while, of course, while you're of here. course, every time messaging us, every time calling us, what's happening, so on, so we try to update them as much as we can. Uh, what does Iriao mean? Does it have a meaning? Is it, is it a name? So he'll speak Georgian, so yeah, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Sakartolo Shiaris, Italian popular ruli, that has to be ruli, Shesu Liba, Halfuri Sinverisa. He said, It's Iudli, Romansat, Kuya Sahelat, Kariman Juli. This is a beautiful language. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you, you're saying it you. in, your, in your language. It's Thank you. So pretty. What is he saying that this, this uh, title was chosen by our leader? He's actually sitting here. And we just agreed immediately because, because Iriao is a kind of respect to our old. Uh, singers and composers, folk singers, I mean, because Georgian polyphony and the singing is very rich, as you know, this has been recognized by UNESCO as intangible cultural heritage of mankind. So, so David decided that this work could express somehow a respect to them, uh, since we use some of the elements uh, from the folk, uh, 
folk and traditional polyphonic singing. The same thing is that the Amish has a lot of people who are in the country. The Amish has a lot of people who are in the country. And what about the word exactly, Iriao? Iriao is a part of Georgian yodeling, which is characterized in one or two regions in Georgia. This is West Georgia. This is Guria, where um, it has the strongest, strongest polyphony. And in the polyphony, in some of the songs, you can meet the yodeling. Yodeling with the higher notes, like, uh, we can show it later, for example. Yeah, yeah, can you give us an example? For example, the word is here, Sase. It's a high voice. <laughs> Suddenly, I thought that the Romanian act from last year was was coming in on stage to to, to join you. Uh, what what I love about Georgian, not just uh, your your language, so I could hear you uh, speaking in Georgian all day, uh, but it's also that you're bringing so many different styles to to your vision. You have like cabaret songs and pop songs and ethnic numbers, and now you're bringing the polyphonic uh, sound. And I also know, Misha, that you're quite a, a big fan of, of, of Eurovision. Uh, <laughs> so from all these Georgian different styles, which, which is your favorite? What's your favorite Georgian song in, in, in Eurovision? My picro from Italian Saint Teresa, Eurovision, is Ram. It's a period. Shakitlia, Kurvanot, Arnold, Inut, Avidan Bulum, Epismiri, Shamrit, Shakitlia, Salian Saintereso, Nazar Mubishikla, Romali Samsu Chichiba Baerti. Yeah, he thinks that their revision is the space uh, the, um, where um, the representatives from each country can represent um, freely the, the styles of music, so he very much adores that there is this diversified style of music, so he, he likes this, loves this. I'm Shem Kowashi. Orientas Tramis Cels, Sakartulo, Itzada, Rum, Maxima Dura Tola Peri, Isra Sakartulo Sahasiatis, Chai Dom, Simra, Shems of Squia, Shemi Bumistris, Ta Mengoni Trinist, Kamugu, the Saint Teresa, Ta, Rum, Salian, Beuri, Ariam Simra, Shinapi, Kritu, Rashi, Zriba Gaitian, Rashi, Zriba Chapa, Chu Shems of Trum, Quilla Peri, that she is Ribula Gaitian, and Divina Works it on some touch. Yeah, he thinks that this this entry from Georgia in 2018 is uh, uh, purely uh, based on traditional, not only in singing, but the message is purely Georgian, because this uh, for you, as I said in Georgian, Sheni Gulis twist is based on a very uh, strong message that comes from a very famous po poet, I think the most famous, Shotarus Taveli, the, he, he wrote the poem, um, uh, The uh, Night Under the in the tiger skin. So this for you is the message from, yeah. from so, so not only music but we, we did, did did our best to put the message also Georgian. So yeah. There are some very strange childhood sit for the Sivaruli Romelitz Kidevu from Agraga Irtianips Eurovisis for the concourse. Twenty uh sit what Mizami are you don't train card for the before the standard that Eurovisis monotile cognitive and that doubt get that is sit for the Sivaruli one. It's a very interesting fact about us is that uh, most of the members of EBL come from the early childhood and the message for you has been I think the main message from us because uh, yeah, we, we, for you uh, can be translated in other ways, not me but we and uh, this message is also uh, very close to EBL members because we grew up together and that we are together and we're going to be together in the future with this message in holding like a flag. I just love how serious musicians uh, you are. I'm sorry, I'm monopolizing this conversation. I could just go on here, but now uh, uh, we can have your questions. Uh, yeah, there. Thank you. Good morning, Team Georgia. JP from Radio International. Hello. Uh, amazingly, you've been to many countries performing your music, just like Indonesia, Borneo, Malaysia. Which was the most exciting place you've been to, and which place you would really love to perform your music at? Yeah, Apart from your I think Chuck would answer about this. Hello. Thank you for your question. The most uh, emotional was for us uh, Java Jazz Festival, Indonesia, performing with artists like uh, Richard Kona, uh, Bobby McFerrin, and Chris Botti, and so on. So we think, Perlia, this was the biggest experience we had this far. 
uh, as far as this festival is among uh, top five jazz festivals in the world. So we had a chance to uh, meet uh, the very big names there. So it was a big experience for Irio, and it was actually 2015. Uh, about two years after the band was founded, so yeah, it was a big challenge as well. And uh, yeah, we would choose this one, Java Jazz in Indonesia. Yeah. They want to go to Indonesia. We all want to go to Georgia. Yeah, there. <laughs> yes, Bulgaria. Hello. Hello, uh, I'm Tata Chandarwa from EurovisionBulgaria.com, and I was wondering about your announcement. I mean, you were announced to represent Georgia in the last day of the year. So, did you guys celebrate this together? And did you combine this celebration together with the welcoming of the new year? Thank you. Thank you for the question. Yeah, I think this was very much emotional and very much surprising because we didn't know that they selected us internally. And this was a very, very big surprise for us, of course. We celebrated it. Uh, by the way, we had a concert the same night, on 21st of December, and it was just announced, and we together were just in shock. It was a very, very, very exciting moment, and we together celebrated, not, not only we, but all of our friends together. Thank you. Thank you. Here, here in the front row. <coughs> Hi, hello, I'm Simon from Polish Radio Sveta. Welcome, George, on board. Uh, well, first of all, I, I'd love to say that uh, probably you call the, 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 the voice of Salvador of Sobral because actually you don't represent fast food music at all here in the Eurovision Song Contest. But my question is, um, well, what do you expect from presenting completely different style in this year's Eurovision Song Contest? You are unique. So what is your expectation here? Uh, and one more remark, actually when you presented your song in 2014, it was also different and we, you were just before Poland like this year, so uh, we are not neighbors only but friends, so congratulations and uh, good luck. Thank you for your question. Yes, this music is a different, but, but we have a very high expectations as far as, as far as we just have single comments and the, the reviews about it. And we, I think the Eurovision is an outstanding uh, opportunity for all the entries because you get the voice, you get the call of people, what they think about you, about your, I don't know, the music, the video and all of the rest. So this, this was a great uh, opportunity for us. We sat and discussed all of the comments and all of the reviews about us and uh, and uh, yeah, we think that the, most of the people have a very positive emotion about this and um, we are very much pleased to, 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 to get this. Uh, and of course the, the comments that we received uh, that dislike the song, this is also very much uh, important for us and we consider some of the comments from them and yeah, this is general. Um, yeah, I can see the. Who's yeah, that? Uh, he's there. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> and I know about the Poland. Poland. Uh, from Poland. Uh, last year was before. Georgia was before. Can you repeat the question about this? I'm sorry. You need to speak on the microphone. Otherwise, nobody can hear you. It was just a remark that uh, in 2014, when you were at the stage in the Eurovision stage in Copenhagen with completely different style as well. Yeah. We were just after you like this year. Yeah. Actually, yeah, thank you. And uh, actually, we love Poland and we are related, you're always related to Poland because the first album that we recorded was in, 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 Rogalov. in Rogalov. Do you know this place? It's near Lublin. Near Lublin, yeah. This place where uh, we were brought, we didn't know the exact interior and the exterior of the studio and we were brought to some village and first we thought that we were lost and kidnapped <laughs> and when we had to enter the studio it was a really authentic purely old uh, way of recording on the on the house on the studio yeah yeah it was outstanding only one person was managing the whole studio and we recorded it live we have a live uh, uh, first album is live, not not separately. We we just sat, and the whole performance was live, and this is a big experience for Poland. We love you. 
Uh, I have to tell you that uh, Salvador, when he knew that there was a jazz band representing uh, a country in Eurovision, he reacted with a yeah. Yeah, so, yeah we've heard uh, that. He, he, he was it, super yeah. happy that you, that you were coming here. Uh, on the fifth row. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, yeah. Emilia Giacometti from Eurovision Croatia. First of all, uh, I um, have a master's degree in ethnology, so I'm really glad that I can hear another part of cultural, health, cultural heritage. So this is my question. Uh, how uh, the Georgian polyphonic singing is in the UNESCO uh, list of heri heritage? Yes. Uh, how does it feel to perform that kind on a stage like Eurovision? Because we know that mo this is mostly a pop song festival. Thank yeah, you. thank you for the question. Maybe Booba or... Yeah, I think the, the answer here is not uh, one and straight because uh, our song is not purely very traditional and very uh, cultural heritage representing song. This is, this is just based on this. And um, actually, the um, polyphony that they that UNESCO recognized was really, really much more different, uh, with a very complicated polyphonic uh, way and style of singing, with the overtones, even not there are hundreds of details uh, for the polyphony that, that that Georgia carries, and each region of Georgia, starting from the east, from the west, it dramatically changes. So I don't think that this very song is very directly representing the, the, the uh, uh, Georgian way and culture and style. It's uh, somehow based on this. Uh, I based on, in saying based on this, I say that there is some three voices, a polyphony that we use in the middle, actually, with the heart beating. And there are the words that, uh, yeah, explaining what for you means. And this heart beating actually is the moment when you give a hand to another, when you share something to another, and in response you get some feeling and emotion. And this is the heart beating that you're happy about this. So I think it's more based on, on the emotions, on the message, and the polyphony, with the chorus, with, 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 with this way, I think. There's a lot Thanks. of uh, ethnic sounds, but also fusion with, with other yeah. types of, yeah. of, of sounds. So here, first row. Hi, it's Cristina Giuntini from OK Italy. First of all, uh, I want to thank you because your song is my winner this year. Wow, thank you very much. And uh, my question is, uh, you're used to perform uh, on live instruments, as I'm sure. And doesn't it feel a bit weird having to perform uh, on a recorded track? Answer. Thank you for the question. Can you just put the microphone here? Yeah, thank you. 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 Yeah, he, he agrees that this is a kind of uh, one of the first um, experiences for us that we sing uh, uh, the live vocal and the instruments are back vocal, back, uh, back, back uh, instruments. Um, but um, I think that also there is a concert, a performance that we're going to have on 7th of May and there we had this very problem because we don't have this minus um, the song tracks that we can add the voice on only. So we, we had a different outcome in this, so we're gonna... Where, where are you performing? Uh, this is, I think, the open performance in the street on okay. 7th. On yeah. your village, probably. Yeah. yeah. So we will try to do it uh, like a cappella. Okay. Uh, yeah. Could you do a bit for us as uh, uh, a last surprise, a bit of your polyphonic sounds? Thank you. 